Okay, so in the common components directory, we want to create a new JavaScript file and we'll call that button. I think a good way to start thinking of a styled component is this. For example, if we were styling this button component, the traditional CSS way, we might have something like this. We'd import React from React. We create a button const here. And we'd return probably a HTML button here. We'd render the children. So that would be when we go to render it, then we'd have a button here and we'd maybe have some text in here so that that's what the children thing is referencing there. Um, then obviously we'd export this, export default button. But here then we'd have something like class name equals, and you know, it might be BTN or button. Let's, let's put BTN for now. And within here then we'd import an associated style sheet. So within here then we'd probably have button.css and then here we'd have the BTN and all the associated styles. So maybe we'd have a background of white border, 1px, solid black, for example, um, let's just put padding of 10 pixels. Um, let's, re let, let's actually render this now then. So th this is perfectly valid um, markup. This is perf a perfectly valid way of styling your React components. So here then, let's import button from components, common, button. And then let's just get rid of all this and render our button. Let's put test button. And if we go down here and npm start, we should see our button rendered on the screen. Yeah, here we go, brilliant, Te uh, test button. So it's rendered as expected. However, the styled components way of doing things, we can think of it like this. A lot of our React components, let's go back to the button here, uh, could like the, the, the common components generally won't have so, me so much markup and class names. But for example, if you think of a page, we could, even in this app.js here, where I, I removed a bunch of this stuff, let's get that back. We've got a bunch of class names here. So a good way of thinking of style components is we're just essentially replacing all these instances with a styled component. So a normal React component can actually consist of a bunch of these styled components. Continuing with the button example then, let's actually start using style components so it might be a little bit easier to get your head around. So let's, we, we've got our button constant here. What we want to do is, let's, let's comment this out for now, get rid of this class name. What we want to do is import styled from styled components and we want to use this styled helper here. So let's remove all this. We want to set our constant button equal to styled dot button, back tick, back tick, and finish that off with a semicolon. So within these back ticks is going to consist of any CSS markup. Um, when I say any CSS markup, I mean any valid CSS. So that includes media queries, nested CSS, you know, pseudo selectors, etc., etc. Now, I'll explain what these back ticks are for in the next lecture, but for now, that's all you really need to know is this within these back ticks is going to contain any valid CSS. You may be wondering what this dot button is here. Essentially, all this is saying is we can, we can read it like this, okay? So 
we're using the styled helper from styled components and we want styled components to render us a HTML button element. We could put anything here, any valid HTML or SVG element. So we could put a section here if we wanted to and that would render us a styled section. And then within here, this is where all the CSS would get applied to that styled section. So let's change this back to button and let's give it a background of white. Let's change it up slightly this time so we know when we look at the app running in the browser that it has actually changed or we are changing the styling of this button component. So let's give it a horribly large border width. Um, so we'll give that a color of black and let's just give it a crazy font size of 20 pixels and a color of black. This is probably inherited from the default styling anyway, but okay. So now let's look at this in the browser. Brilliant. It's already rendered. So as we can see, it's rendered a button element. So this button element is being rendered from this styled dot button here. Let's go ahead and just change this to section and see what happens. So there we are because a section section's default display is block. Uh, it's it's uh, gone the whole width of the screen. But as you can see here, it's created a section element for us. One other awesome thing about styled components is we don't need to worry about rendering children. This is it's already taken care of in here. So we've imported this styled component button. We've just we rendered some children here. Let, let's just let's render something else in here. So let's um, put a div um, yeah, test button again. But let's mix things up. Let, well, well, this is just an example. We'd, we'd be using styled components obviously throughout this course because it's a styled components course, but We'll just quickly apply some style here using the style attribute or the style prop. Let's just set the color to red just so we know things are changing with inside this child. And as we can see, it has. In the next lecture, then, we'll take a look at conditional styling based on component props. So, for example, more often than not, we'd have we'd want to render slight variations of this button, for example, primary or danger, and we want to base styles. We want to create styles based on these props being passed in. We'll cover that in the next lecture.